everyone, Kendall here again with Freer Reese. In today's video, we're going to continue learning some hand lettering techniques, specifically focusing on duplicate letters. If you're following along with me today, I'm using the Freer Reese watercolor inks, and I've also created some practice guides specific to today's exercise. We're going to work through a couple of them in the video. The link to download them is below in the video description. We're also going to need some watercolor paper and our brushes and markers. So these guides are specifically for round brushes, sizes about one through four, and liner brushes, sizes again about one through four. You can also use uh, the dual tip Freerese brush markers. Um, they're roughly the same size as these guides as well. So first I'll be working from the double E practice guide. I'm using a light board to make it easier to film, um, but you can actually print these guides directly onto the Bria Reese mixed media, watercolor, or marker paper. They're compatible with pretty much any printer, um, and it makes it really easy to practice. If you haven't already checked out some of the past lettering tutorials on this channel, I definitely recommend doing so. They cover a lot of the lettering basics uh, and fundamentals that you really need to know and have some really good resources for you. So we're just working on our thin upstrokes and our thick downstrokes. For that first set of ease, I used a size 2 round brush. In this one, I am using the size 1 Breeries round brush. And you see, again, just thin upstrokes, thick downstrokes. Really, repetition is key when it comes to hand lettering, and guides like these are really useful. So I included a practice word on each one of these printables that includes the double letter we're focusing on. For this one, obviously double E, I'm using the word sweet, and I'm just gonna go over this with my number two round paintbrush and my Breeries watercolor ink. For the sake of the video, I'm going to speed this up by a lot, but keep in mind for really good, consistent letter forms, going slow and taking your time is key. So like I mentioned before, you can use your Bria Reese dual tip brush markers with these guides. They're the perfect size for them as well. Um, and it's the same as it is with the paintbrush. You know, thick downstrokes is heavy pressure, thin upstrokes is very light pressure. This particular practice sheet is just a list of common duplicate letters, um, as well as a few different style variations. Some like a more exaggerated bounce, some like a little less of an exaggerated bounce. So I included a couple different styles in there as well. So now that we've warmed up, we've practiced our duplicate letters a little bit, let's put all of that together and make something fun. If you are an experienced letterer or an intermediate letterer, you may not need this guide to trace. Um, I put that in there because I know how boring it can be to just do drills if you're a beginner letterer. And you know, tracing and practicing your muscle memory and your pressure variations can be really beneficial and no matter what level you're at. So especially if you're a beginner, feel free to print this out, use it, give it to the coffee lover uh, that you love or yourself, put it above your coffee maker, whatever. Um, just practice letter every day, practice those variations, practice that bounce, practice finding your style. Um, I can't say enough about practicing. Uh, so for this piece, I'm actually using Bria Reese liquid watercolors in neutral gray. I'm using the regular watercolors and then for the coffee, I'll use the glitter watercolors just to give it an added extra something. I'm also using a round two brush. Um, so like I said, these guides are for round brushes, anywhere from one to four, liner brushes, anywhere from one to four again, and then also your Bria Reese dual brush markers will work just fine with these. Just make sure if you're using the brush markers, you are using it on marker paper and not watercolor paper or you will fray the tips.
So one of the easiest ways to accent your piece and really add a pop to those letters and make them stand out on the page is to add shadows. A rule of thumb when adding shadows is to pick two sides and stick with them. So you're either going to pick the top or the bottom and the left or the right hand side. I hope you enjoyed practicing your hand lettering and I hope you find these guides really useful. For more videos from Breweries, don't forget to like and subscribe down below.